I hate to tell you this, but when you begin to embrace your femininity, you're going to come up against many masculine women who are not going to like that. And you have to be right in the right headspace to be able to deal with that. Like and subscribe to the channel for more content. As a feminine woman, when you begin to flow in that state of who you are naturally as a created woman in that feminine space, you are going to come up against other women who have not yet evolved into their nature as women. You're going to still be in the room with a bunch of women who are going to be more male uh, identified than yourself. And they are going to be more aggressive, more abrasive. They're going to see you being relaxed and maybe soft-spoken, a little bit more reserved. And they're going to begin to look at you as if you're odd, you're weird, you're a punk. They're going to try you. And you as a feminine woman, as a newly thriving, embracing your femininity, you're going to have to learn how to um, exist with this new dynamic between yourself and the average woman. The average woman in the society, speaking to the Western culture, many are very hard and rugged and abrasive because we live in a time where being a masculine woman is glorified. You know, the, the men are more feminine, so they are encouraging women to be more masculine. And thus you are in what it feels like an island by yourself. You might feel like I'm weird or is something wrong with me because I'm not acting the way these women are. You might begin to think of yourself as boring. You might begin to think of yourself as if it's just something wrong with you. But let me reassure you that being a feminine woman, embracing the naturalness of who God has created you to be and your true nature, that is absolutely normal. What you're seeing today is an abnormality of heightened masculine women because there's various reasons, but one, in my opinion, is because many men have dropped the ball and caused women to be thrusted into that feminine, that masculine way of being. But what we didn't know and what a lot of us didn't know that you had a choice that just because a man drops the ball as a man doesn't mean you have to naturally step into being masculine. You can still be a, in, in a, in a position of leadership, if you will. Even as a mother, if you find yourself being a single mother, if you find yourself, you know, you're in a job and you're a certain way, you can still have your essence as a feminine woman and be a leader. You can still get the job done, get things done while being feminine. But what we see today is manly women to the point that they are making the men be women. And I'm not saying making as in the reason why we have all the big ball of confusion like we have today. I'm just saying that things are just confused. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. But because of that, when you begin to embrace your femininity, you're going to feel weird and you're going to have women coming up against you like they're men and the way you deal with them is just like that. You treat them like they're men. When I come up against masculine women, I treat them like men because that's how they're acting and things kind of get calm because I'm just treating them like they're my opposite, like they're a man because they're acting like a man, you know? So if they're coming at me and talking to me like, why you did, you know, or whatever, or, or no, this is what I said. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't know. I'm sorry. And then they're taking them back like, Oh yes, no problem. Like a man would do, you know, once a man gets his little rah-rah off and you come at him with the soft, gentle voice, then they kind of relax. That's how you have to deal with masculine women. You treat them like men. I mean, this video is going to be very short. You treat the masculine woman like a man. You just say, yes, sir. No, sir. Okay. Because remember, as feminine women, we don't tussle. I'm not saying in all situations. And if you're past the age of 30, you shouldn't really care about the fact if you're coming off like a punk, coming off like this, coming off like that. We don't care about that. If you haven't touched my kids or my money, you know, you got it. You really have to have that attitude about yourself. You got it. If you just talking and you probably going to go back home to your cat or you just bitter and miserable because you're paying all the bills, I'm going to be kind to you. You need a leg up in life. I'm just going to be kind to you. Yes, sir. You got it. 
I remember when I was working in the retail store and this lady, she had a jar of pickles sitting on the edge of the counter. They were going to fall off. No doubt. If anybody would have made a wrong move or she sat something else down in that counter, it was going to fall off and break. So me being behind the counter as the assistant manager, I came over, I saw it and she was already being nasty to my cashier. So I just moved it over some so that it didn't fall off the counter. She, this is what she did. This is a bottle of water I got. She was like... And slid it right back where it was. You know what I did? I didn't do nothing. I let it stay there because you know she probably has no control in her everyday life. And her moving that pickle jar probably was a sign that she had to let us know that she has control over this pickle jar, darn it. So I let her have the control. I just, I saw what she did. As soon as I put it there, she just, and sat it right back. I didn't say anything. I saw that. I just looked. Thought to myself, she got it. Let her have the control. That's her win for the day. She got it. And that's how you have to deal with masculine women and combative people in general. But I'm speaking to masculine women because it's a weird dynamic. When you start shifting into your femininity and you're around women that used to act the way you do. And you have to have a level of compassion too. Especially when you are a reformed masculine woman. When you used to be heavily in your masculine and you kind of understand where they're coming from. You have to have a level of empathy with them too. As long as they don't get in your space or touch you, let them have it. Let them have it. Just know it's going to be okay. I used to be where you are. Um, you need the small wins to make yourself feel good because you have not yet understood. Masculine women have not yet understood that it is not about what they do, but who they are. Feminine women understand it's about who they are, their presence, their essence in the world. And through that, they make an impact. Not being the breadwinner, not, uh, you know, seeing how many dishes you can wash, how many loads of laundry you can get done. No doubt all this stuff has to get done. I do laundry for my family. I'm not saying like that, but my value, if I don't do a darn thing for the day, I am still a worthy feminine woman. It's not about what I do. It's about who I am. My husband, like even like he doesn't really, he appreciates what I do, but even when I don't do anything, he's like, you know, we're still doing what we're doing. You know, we're going out. He's buying me stuff where we're talking. It's like, he doesn't value me for that. Like I'm not his maid. I'm not, you know, the, the mother, I'm not mothering the situation. I'm just being a woman. And when you begin to get your value from just being a woman and impacting people in such a positive way that you're allowing them to thrive in their life because of your very presence, I want to add as a divine feminine woman, as a woman of faith, your prayers, your presence, your encouragement, just who you are being, not so much of what you're doing. That's femininity. But the masculine woman has not yet come into that realization. So it is our job to take it easy with them. Don't be so easily offended. I had a girl come up to me. I was checking her in, uh, you know, and she was aggressive for no reason. She gave me her name. My name is going to say a fake name. My name is Tay. 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 It's right there. Tay. Okay, Tay. Because it was something similar to that. But I'm just going to use that number. Like, okay, Tay. How was the flight in? You know, I'm just being kind to her. When she's trying so hard to be nasty. Because negative masculine women, they don't like when they see smiling, happy, feminine women. Because it represents the opposite of everything that they are. And they don't like it. They're jealous and upset, even though they don't know you from a can of paint. They're jealous and upset because your presence is too uplifting for them. They're used to being bitter, negative, nasty, probably been treated that way because they don't realize that they give off that energy to people. And because of that, that's why people don't respond to them the way that you're responding when they walk up. Because they have not yet learned to take it easy, relax. What's the old saying? You catch more flies with honey than vinegar or something. I mean, that's corny, but it's true. It's really true. And when a woman comes into that realization, she begins to relax in her feminine and stop being so manly. It's not that serious. You don't have to be so manly. Even if you're having a hard day, a bad day. I've had many bad days and all people are different. I get that because I can hear somebody saying that. Well, everybody ain't like you. We know we, we try to look for little justifications and loopholes to try to get around things that could be simple. 
So I, I see that everybody is not the same. But when you so much so desire peace in your life and you want to, the scripture says, to get friends, you must show yourself friendly. So when you get to the point that you want to have peace and you want to have people around you who will genuinely support you and want to be in your presence, you will switch over from that manly way of being and embrace your femininity. So for the feminine woman, don't be taken aback by the masculine man or the masculine woman. Give them a break. Treat them as such. Be respectful because they need a leg up in life. They're just trying to make it the way they know how. And it is up to us to be the example to them. All right. Like and subscribe to the channel for more content. Everybody's not going to like this. And you know I don't care. Leave your opinion down in the comments. Share this content. This is not to demean or put down anybody. This is an all things woman channel. My goal with this channel is to encourage women to live in their naturalness, in their femininity, and to embrace just being a soft, gentle woman. We got too many hard hearted, hard for ready, ride or die women out here. It's enough. You can be like that, but you don't have to carry yourself that way. You can be in a position where you can defend yourself because you can be a dainty pistol firecracker at any moment. And it's nothing wrong with that. But to lead with that, we just need to get away from it. It's just too much, too much. Like and subscribe to the channel for more content. Take care. Press the like button. If y'all watching, why are you not pressing the like button? I don't understand. Press the like button. Take care.